My name is Francis O'Reilly. I am the coordinator of the Springfield Telescope Makers Telescope Making Workshop. We're also known to many people as Stellafane. We reside in Springfield, Vermont. I'd like to take to this opportunity to welcome you to the introductory Stellafane Telescope Makers Workshop video. In this edition, we will be introducing you to a little bit of telescope history, the various types of telescopes, our goals, and the reasons for the goals, the reasons to make a telescope on your own, and the materials that we provide, and the sources for those that we don't provide. This series of videos will follow a telescope maker through the process of making an 8-inch F6 telescope, as shown on our website, www.stellafane.org. Telescopes were first patented in 1608 by Jan Lippershey. It was patented as a device to make things that are far away look close. It was considered to be used for military purposes, however, it was generally rejected as being useless due to an inverted image. The purpose of a telescope is to focus electromagnetic energy, in this case light, to an image that can be inspected to gain data. There are two basic types of telescopes which deal with different frequencies of electromagnetic energy. We call them radio telescopes and optical telescopes. In this workshop, we will be primarily concerned with optical telescopes. They both work on very similar principles. We are concerned, as I said, with optical telescopes in this workshop, and there are two types of optical telescopes that are generally used. One is called a refractor, and the other is called a reflector. Refractor telescopes are the typical types of telescopes that you might see in the movies or the cartoons. They have a pair of lenses in front through which light passes and is focused in the rear of the telescope. Reflector telescopes are more common types of telescopes, and they are used in amateur astronomy as well as professional astronomy. They have a mirror in the back, which reflects light to the front of the telescope, and then to a secondary mirror, depending on the type of reflector. The light is either sent out through the side of the tube or reflected back through a hole in the primary mirror, either way to be inspected by an eyepiece. In our workshop, we start our participants with a reasonably sized reflector telescope. Once they have mastered the skills necessary in making their first telescope, they are free to make whatever type of telescope that their skill level and budget permits. Our workshop is designed to help the participant make an entire telescope from the optic through the finished product. We have a fully equipped optics lab, woodworking shop and machine shop with skilled opticians, master woodworkers and machinists available to assist you in successfully completing your project. Why make your own telescope? When people started making telescopes, they were not available commercially for a reasonable cost. Today, you can buy an excellent quality completed telescope for far less than the cost and time necessary to make your own. Reasons for making your own telescope vary. I do it for a couple of reasons, primarily because I find doing so to be intellectually challenging. I also believe that although the process has me been mechanized for commercial applications, there are many instances where the process has to be done manually, and in order to do so, people need to know how. There are aspiring opticians, physicists and engineers, as well as people who wish to get into uh, telescope making professionally, either as a profession or as a part-time business, and we like to teach the skills necessary. Stella Fane, the Springfield Telescope Makers is a repository of information concerning telescopes and uh, telescope making. I believe this must be preserved and passed on to younger generations for the benefit of all men and womankind. The first step in making a telescope is generally to make the primary optic because everything else flows from that. The rest of the telescope will be built around the final measurements of the focal length of the finished optic. In our workshop, we will sell you a kit that will be sufficient to make your primary optic. If you run short on materials such as grit or pitch, we will give you more so that you complete your project. 
The cost is currently $250 for the 8-inch F6 telescope kit. That may increase as the price of materials vary over the years. And that would, when I say the 8-inch F6 telescope kit, I'm specifically referring to the kit necessary to make the primary optic. You will be responsible to have a coating placed on your optic and to purchase all of the necessary materials to complete your telescope. This is 2018, and in 2018, the following vendors have been found to provide adequate services for the amateur telescope making. Optical Coatings, Allen Ward in Canada, Majestic Coatings in New Jersey, and Clousing Coatings in Skokie, Illinois. Mirror Mounts and Secondary uh, Mirror Holders and Secondary Mirrors, Agena Astro Products, Antares Optics, Astro Systems, and Astro Goods. By the way, we do not recommend curved vein secondary mirror holders. For the telescope mount for us telescope, you need one sheet of 4x8, 3 quarter inch AC plywood, glue, and some fasteners. Bibbins Ace Hardware provides this in Springfield, Vermont. The tube, likewise, is from Bibbins Ace Hardware, and it would be a sauna tube. Or we also buy aluminum tubes from Hastings Irrigation Pipe in Hastings, Nebraska, which has quite a um, little side business in selling small miscellaneous tubes. We really appreciate their contribution to the amateur telescope making community. Whether this is your first telescope or you are a seasoned professional just looking for a workshop to participate in while making another bigger and better telescope, on behalf of the Springfield Telescope Makers, I welcome you to our program. We are glad that you have decided to join our workshop and we look forward to working with you towards the completion of your telescope.